Welcome to the Bullhorn and welcome back. Howard, back from the unfun city of Amsterdam. Hope all's well. All is well. This is water, not booze. Booze was last week. This is water. Nice. Just want to make sure you have some functioning brain cells to discuss today's topic, Amazon.com. A company uh, you know, had an earnings report recently that wasn't great on the profit side. Sales were still surging, but you know, investors kind of shrugged it off. Do you think investors have gotten used to the fact that Amazon's a company that's going to invest in growth and that may hurt margins every now and then? Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, Amazon is not thinking quarter to quarter. I know when you have a company like that that's thinking six, seven years ahead, that's how they can dominate cloud in a world of Google. That's how they can dominate book selling in a world of copyright stuff. That's how they can even dominate uh, readers when you're competing against the Apple with a subpar, simple, basic reader product. Amazon's investing in their users, in customer service, in selection, in shipping, in making people smile. So the products are wide, sell-offs are being bought. Listen, it's not an, it's not a cheap stock, but again, to find cheap, you've got the number one retailer in the world without the infrastructure, without the advertising costs, uh, without the same type of employee costs, and the customers are always happy, and the place does not smell like old popcorn. <laughs> That's always good because I, I I personally go short anytime uh, I, I I smell old popcorn. But no, that's a yes. fantastic point. I mean, when you talk about customer satisfaction, it, it's sometimes diminished as this uh, you know intangible that really doesn't impact stock price movement. But you look at Amazon, you look at companies like Apple, Priceline. You know, these these are companies that more often than not their users are happy, and that's something that I think probably does uh, bode well for the long term. You think? Yes, you want to own companies that just dominate because margins can be sacrificed on the short term for market share and definite strategy improvements over the long run. And Amazon has just got that ability right now. They've got cloud, they've got sales of books, they've got customer service, they have data, and they've got this social layer that Facebook is creating that we don't even know how good that's going to be when they overlay it on book selections, which has always been the... The uh, one beef with Amazon is like they don't refer me good books. Well, wait till your friends are overlaid on your Amazon search, and you get fantastic selection. Right. So I mean, you're talking about retail nirvana on its way. Jeff is in it to win it. He hasn't worn out a second. So yes, Amazon over OpenTable. And then we can talk about what happened with OpenTable. Yeah, op- OpenTable is another company that I think you know I've used the service. It's it's definitely uh, you know a good product. Uh, no complaints about it. But I think it does underscore the risk that you have with any momentum stock. I mean. Open Table, very, very expensive stock, and it's getting hurt despite some good results because of a uh, change at the, the CEO level. W- would you be worried about when you see something like that? Yeah, yes. So, so here's the deal. Here's, here's the rock in the hard place that they had. It's a momentum stock. If he had stepped down a year ago when the stock was at 40, the stock wouldn't have run to 120. It's, it's in the hands of the gods and the winds at that point. So it's, it, you know, there's not going to be good timing when uh, he announces this, okay? Right. And is the stock overvalued? Yes. At $150 million in revenue and the stock trading at a billion and a half, hey, it is not cheap. This is not your weekend flea market stuff, okay? When they're relying on the software to put people in restaurants in the butts and seats business, you can get 30% sell-offs very quickly with the slightest changes. Especially since we have the Kentucky Derby uh, later this week, the one-trick ponies can be very, very volatile, so you have to be careful. Something like an Amazon, Apple, obviously, even if they have their swings, they have a lot more horses in the race.